Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and this is our daily inspiration card reading. If you would like a personal reading with me, just go to my website, angelsouls444.com, and also check out the description box for any upcoming lives. So what do we have here? We have Caressa. Okay, I'm back filming. If you watched the daily I posted yesterday, that was, I believe, uh, the Opal card, which is about children. Now, Endings, beginnings, that's the 1010 portal energy still working on us as of the recording of this reading. But when this comes up, this is the sun setting on an old way so that something new can be born. Okay? For some of you out there, <laughs> some of you out there, if you have lived a life where you just thought you were always going to be single, and sorry, there's a whole baby thing theme going on here. So if you thought you weren't going to have kids, surprise. Uh, so just be careful out there, y'all. Okay. <laughs> but like a way of thinking, a way of approaching things. Uh, I was, I think it was in the weekly. I was using the example of love. If we feel like we're hung up on a person from the past and that's your soulmate and oh my gosh, my twin flame and this, that, and the other, and you really look at it, you might realize Check with an expert. I'm not an expert, but you're trauma bonded, perhaps. Check with an expert. Uh, <laughs> or, you know, you have, in, I had a situation from the past where I was so manipulated. And I was already somebody who uh, spent my whole life dealing with narcissism and narcissistic abuse. I'm talking decades of it. That's why I talk about it all the time. Because I know it. <laughs> like, I know it a lot. Um, and I see it still affecting people. But someone who, I don't know what their problem was, but um, use that as a vulnerability to come and have um, have my, like, align to my power. Do you see what I'm saying? This is that kind of thing where when we wake up to situations like that and we cut it off, and especially if you're doing, like, return to sender kind of stuff, look out. <laughs> look out. So this card says you are at the end of a cycle in your life. You're done with it. No more having to learn the hard lessons. Okay, well, I mean, there are going to be other lessons on your soul's contract. But call upon your angels to comfort you and guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you now. This is that whole feeling of when we are hanging on for dear life. We're so afraid to let go, so afraid to let go. And then you do and you realize you were two inches off the ground. <laughs> right? Like, oh, I was afraid of nothing, right? Now, for some of you, this ending might be a little bit more profound where it is heartbreaking to let go of somebody who you thought you could have a love partnership with or having to let go of an idea around maybe a certain career or a way of living or you know I'm thinking of the example of people who went through Hurricane Ian you know I'm sure their dream homes were those beach houses and now you know they're probably going you know the world is changing this these weather patterns are getting so crazy that you know now we can't be nonchalant about hurricanes because we're Floridians and we, we deal with it all the time. This is a whole other beast, right? And so maybe some of them are making the decision to move out. You know, maybe they don't have a choice. Maybe those homes are gone, but some of them may choose to not rebuild there. It has that kind of feeling. But even if it can be painful or even bittersweet to let something go, it's okay. It's clearing the path for something beautiful to come on forward. All right? We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.